As you can see, today I came to Lake Zaros and Lake Zaros is located in the almost heart of Crete Island uh, in the countryside. This is an amazing place visited by very special visitors, tourists and also mostly by locals uh, Saturday and Sunday they are coming to have a good time. In this place there are two, three, four more than probably tavernas that uh, you we will run out of it so coffee shop taverna bar everything is available and the lake itself is a living beauty on the face of earth look at this i mean look the trees the green the lake itself the reflections oh boy you want to be here I feel like I don't want to leave. It's that gorgeous and that beautiful. And there are some ducks in the lake. Meanwhile, in this lake, there are fishes as well. I don't know how deep it is, but a very beautiful place to visit. So this is the very, uh, like, end of the lake. If you would go this way, if you would go this way, that way will still take you to the to the lake, to the tavernas and the places to eat. And if you would take this way, this will also take you to the same place. So as you can see, plenty of place to park your car or to just come here and turn and go. And the, the trees, they are tall and huge. I don't know what they are called, but we have olive trees here. We have uh, walnut trees here and uh, we have uh, these other trees. Uh, come and explore by yourself. I should have come here very early, but never late. It's so beautiful. And if you already like the video, please hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any thoughts, any anything coming to your mind, please let me know in the comment section. I will be more than happy to read them and answer them. And also tell me your thoughts about this place. Meanwhile, I have some tips and tricks to share with you during the video that might be helpful. Here it's written that swimming and fishing is forbidden in the lake. We have some plastic bottles and some... Oh, do look at the fishes. Okay, they should have cleaned this up. That's not something pleasant to see. But anyways, nobody is perfect. I will show you real quick the entrance and the area around 
So if you are uh, coming here, you you at least have an idea what you expect. Okay, so I was there. This way, if you go, still there is like parking. You can park your car. You can have more privacy if you have food with yourself. If you have things to do, that you will get. You will have more privacy in that area, and you will be much more relaxed. Nobody will be staring at you what you are doing. So, no, not many people go there. Uh, maybe if you are lucky, you will find it completely for yourself. If you are putting your tent, your things, making a tea, something, you can do it there. But not in the summer because we have uh, the fire is also forbidden. And this is the way that you will come. And you will also find parking in this area, in this front area, and also in this area. And also from there, from there, there is also parking. And uh, behind these uh, hills and trees, there are some hotels and places where you can stay. And another tip, the Ruvas. Ruvas George is also from there. You can go to the George and you can hike, uh, which is something that in my list I'm going to be doing. So this is a real quick introduction. And this is the door, the entrance. Well, you can enter from everywhere, but it is uh, really nicely built. I like the green color and the wood and everything. Ah, uh, uh, Fragi Ruva to the George. So also uh, you can go to the George from here as well. And as you can see in the left side, you have some uh, some some stuff to for the kids to play. And here we have the big fishes. Hope they don't escape. Oh, can you see them? Wow, in my whole entire life, it's the it's, it's first time I'm seeing uh, fish as big as these. Oh, <laughs> it's so relaxing looking at these big fishes. There are huge ones and there are really, really huge ones. They are a little bit uh, deep, they are swimming deeper. Amazing. I'm going to do a small multitasking, uh, please, it's, going to, it's not going to be more than a second, I'll just take a picture, oh boy. Okay, so let's continue our walk, we will give you more information. Okay, so here we have this uh, parking area which is just next to this uh, taverna and just in front of the lake. Imagine yourself sitting in that taverna. Uh, and eating, drinking and having a good time. Wow, I love it. And looking at these fishes swimming around. And also we have tables and another taverna in this area. Mm -hmm. 
πως δεν ψηζιάζεις τα αμάξι εγώ και πάω γκουζ μέσα And we have turtles as well. So if you want to learn what is a turtle in Greek language, it's called Hilona. One, two, three, four, many, many turtles. Look at them in this area. Wow, you're so sweet. Look at all of them. <laughs> Honestly, I've never been to this uh, zoology or uh, to uh, this uh, discovering uh, uh, about animal lives. But because I, no, I was never focused and I was never relaxed to understand the relationship between in between. So, but now that I am here and I'm seeing these with my own eyes, I am kind of curious to discover their world. Maybe sometime do scuba diving to swim around them and to to explore the whole world uh, under the water. I'm really pumped for it. I'm gonna do that sometime. <laughs> Okay, if you would take this hike in 0.9 kilometers, you will there will be water and there will be seats to sit. So beautiful. I have I have been to Zaros uh, quite few times, but never been to this uh, to this part and to 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 go to the George. So pretty much this is it. This th this is. So you will go up and uh, you will discover more. And there are some signs to be cautious and to be careful. So yeah. Uh, uh, if possible, I will go to the uh, the 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 uh, in the village uh, of Zaros. Okay, this is Lake Zaros, and there is a village which is called also Zaros. It's like a few two one kilometers away from the lake. There are also nice tavernas and apartments to stay, and uh, supermarket to buy stuff and to restaurants to eat. So I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of that as well, so you have a, 
a whole picture an idea if you are coming to to this place what is it that you are going to get so it's not just about the lake there is uh, life cultural people and uh, uh, products traditional products uh, that you can uh, you can buy maybe explore see and the villages around this uh, area is also uh, really uh, old there is one village with a church in it it's called panagia and it's a very old village with very beautiful architecture and if you are coming to zarus you will definitely notice that it's called panagia if you stop there take some pictures walk around that's going to be nice and you will you will feel something different and i'm pretty sure that time you will remember me and you will say yeah uh, the dude was right so yeah uh, so see you in the village and meanwhile i am planning to find some gopro mounts to put it in the car in some good areas and also out of the car to show you a little bit of uh, the ways and also do some comments on the stuff i think uh, which is necessary if you are coming to Crete and if you are renting a car and you are driving around there are some stuff to keep in mind that will keep you safe and also it will be easier for you to find the ways meanwhile uh, you can uh, easily uh, and also it's entertaining i mean like i'm enjoying what i'm seeing driving around it's 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 fa fascinating it's gorgeous and uh, i would definitely want to share that like look at this taverna here look at these tavernas here on the way so if i would shoot this it will be not missed and i i, I can add it to the video and you will come you will enjoy the experience so for now for this video i will try to shoot as much as i can with my hand but for the next videos when i get the mounts the gopro mounts and, and and make everything ready efficiently working then i will share with you a look at this taverna yeah yeah look at this one you can come here and eat as well so but i do i prefer to eat uh, in the around the lake that's that's the most uh, beautiful place to eat And this taverna is also not but such a beautiful taverna already people are eating with the sound of the water if you can hear this one and we have hotel here three star hotel So yes, uh, I'm planning on capturing a full experience of my travels with the road trips, with the maps and everything. But please give me some time because uh, uh, I am minimal with the things I do. And when I want to do them, I want to not um, uh, try to create uh, headaches for myself. So if I, uh, I don't want to all over the place i want to make it nice and clean so you, i can enjoy making the videos the road trips experiences and you watching uh, you also enjoy watching them so yes and from here i will stop the camera because i i, I notice some traffic i want to be safe it is same as uh, using a phone almost so i will show you the village okay so if you would this is the this is the village of Zaros and you will come this way and when you notice this glass and when you notice this uh, this uh, let's say this indicator or board and also there it is written uh, Lake Zaros, Limni Lake Zaros it will uh, direct you to that way and you take a right and you will arrive there so the village itself is it is pretty much starting from here Let me show you this. These glasses with the color red, green, orange. It's very old fashioned. Mostly used in the cathedrals 
and uh, old churches to make uh, to look uh, to make everything look much more shiny and uh, magical. So as you can see, we have here in the front a coffee shop. And we have lots of bikes, trail bikes. Yeah, Sas? <laughs> yeah, to YouTube kind of vlog. <laughs> uh, and we have here a shop where you can buy souvlaki, coffee, pizza and everything. And a house with a white and blue color. It's very rare to see these colors in Crete. It's mostly this orangish and this uh, uh, like uh, orange, red, gray, these type of colors. White and blue is rare. And these are one of those uh, cars they drive like crazy they modify their car with special type of tires so that's what i was talking about that it is very common to 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 see people driving like that and you should not be uh, confused or worried or uh, scared because this is something uh, that uh, is kind of common here that they like to do these uh, stunts and uh, there is a lot that I will show you now doesn't make any sense if I would keep commenting and we have uh, here a taverna as well with different foods nicely in the village in this car We have uh, here uh, Pancrita, Pancrita Bank with an ATM. If you have a Visa Master Mestro, it will work for you. And here we have uh, like a doctor psycho care. Okay, anyways, it seems like if you have something happen to you, they will take care of you. And in the very square of uh, Zarus village, we have this fountain. Yes, yes. And we have also coffee shops and uh, tavernas and cocktail bar. Yeah, Vigera. Slow food. Uh, it's 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 I think vegetable. Uh, if you are uh, eating there, it's vegetable. And this is Fisto's uh, supermarket. And in this side, like in the, which I am almost in the uh, south of uh, Crete, you will find mostly this supermarket. And. Uh, yeah, you can buy things from here as well. And we have also gift shop and some other Cretan products. Okay, that's very interesting that people are building this here, creating. Yes, us. Can I show a little bit of your work in the... Yes, before I need to ask you for help. Okay, can... sure, sure, I will definitely help you. Look, I, I cannot move with my leg. Yeah. So, yeah. No, no, no. It's just. Can you just take this on? Up, you mean? Up. Yes. Okay. I need. To, okay. I will put the camera here. Yes, yes. Ah, I was asking for. Help. Moment, moment. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, uh -huh. good, good. Stop. 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 He wanted to make the video. Ah, <laughs> but video, I It's better with you. She's the. Okay. She's the super. Okay. You want to see? Oh, she can't see. She It's 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 so so kind of I'm surprised to see this technology in this age happening here. I was not aware of it at all. Yeah, and I came to the lake. Then I was walking around to see what's going on and I came across this. I remember my grandmother used to make this, my grandmother. Oh, yeah, from? I'm from Afghanistan. Afghanistan? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. No, it's all the Mediterranean yeah. area in every country, Italy, yeah. the south of Italy, where there were sheep. Yeah. There was this. I remember the whole process. Oh, no, I'm just learning. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. And she knows everything from her grand grandmother, the old uh, from the wool yeah. to the brothers. So the whole process she is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so for a, a, sm a smart introduction and uh, about myself, my name is Zamir and I am. Uh, I am a YouTuber going around the Crete and making videos about uh, places. Εγώ πάω γύρω γύρω στην Κρήτη και έχω μάτι ελληνικά, όχι ελληνικά, κριτικά. Και φτιάχνω βίντεο για να δείξω για ξένους που έρχεται εδώ, τι έχουμε εδώ μέσα στην Κρήτη. Και ε, 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 δεν έχω δει ένα μαγαζί που φτιάχνει αυτά μπροστά στα μάτια τους. Και είναι ε, με πολύ... Ε, ε, Χαίρομαι ότι βρήκα τέτοιο μαγαζί για να μπορώ να γράψω και να δείχνω ότι ακόμα υπάρχει... Ναι, αυτά. Εσείς μπορείτε να φτιάχνετε και ρούχα, πιο ελαφρύ, πιο στενή νομίζω. Πιο λεπτά. Λεπτά, ναι, 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 ναι. Αλλά εμείς, εγώ θυμάμαι ότι φτιάχναμε κάτι για να βάλουμε σαν καλή στο σπίτι. Ναι, ναι, ναι. Απάνω στα μικρά αργαλιά. Ναι, τέτοια. Ναι, αυτά, αυτά, αυτά. Και κάτι μέρα η γιαγιά μου έφτιαχνε αυτό επειδή δεν είχε άλλη δουλειά και ήταν αυτό. Και τσουβάλια ήταν παλιά από αυτά φτιαχμένα. Σαχιά, μάλινα, βομβατσερά, ναι. ναι. ρούχα με ταξουτά, ναι. βομβατσερά, λινά, όλα. Ναι. It's like a you can you come inside and you will feel completely a different feeling. You will feel different. So not just for the lake. This will be the second uh, main reason that you should uh, come to uh, Zaros to the Zaros village and give the shop a visit and definitely share some love and say hi. And uh, yes, I'm not going to be bothering them anymore because they are working and. Uh, It was really nice meeting them, and uh, I will I will leave you now working. The tapigo ego, this is kind of idulyasas. Che hari ka para puli kapsha stigmi ta giriso meitos filos mo ya na pio me kamia raichi. Ne, e faristo para puli. Yes, yes, yes. Because uh, they adopted me. Oh, sort that's of, so sweet. Uh, I was. Uh, I, I was a tourist, but yeah. I broke my leg. Yeah. And then they adopted me like a family, and they're teaching me, and because I cannot go around anymore. And so yeah. this is very special, I think, for the people here in yeah. Zaros. Uh, they're like a big family, so. Yeah, that's really I nice to know. Important. Yeah. What happened uh, to your leg, actually? I was uh, walking down the Ruvas Gorge. Yeah. And 
I broke my ankle. Okay. And so it could be a very sad story, but actually it's a very good story because it made give me the possibility to stop and get to know the people much better. And it, they're very welcoming. Exactly, exactly. Sometimes we don't know the mystery behind things happening. I've had a conversation with a friend of mine. Their family were stuck in the airport from Netherlands. They were coming to um, uh, Lesbos, actually. So I told her at the moment that this is, could be something, in, an indication to something. It will lead to something positive. So now you get to know the people completely. You may return to your home country with a different experience and knowledge. Yes, yes. It was really nice talking to you. What was your name? Helen. Helen. Nice meeting you, Helen. My name is Maria. Maria. Nice meeting you, Maria. And I'm Zamir. <laughs> okay. Good okay. Luck, Good luck. You too. You too. Enjoy. Enjoy. Yes. 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 So, <laughs> we never know the mysteries uh, behind things happening. Sometimes we look at them as if they are uh, something bad or if they are a problem. But in reality, they are great. Things can go wrong and then give it time, be patient and you will, uh, you will understand what is behind everything. So this is, uh, it's kind of uh, uh, the, 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 the beginning of the village with uh, some cafe news. It continues and over there, there is a pump station where if you are running out of fuel, then you can buy fuel from there. Okay, so pretty much this was it for uh, Lake Zaros and the village of Zaros. It was really nice meeting Helen and uh, Maria. Uh, definitely give this place a visit. It's really worth it. It warmed my heart. I'm fucking emotional sometimes. You know, when I see this much love, it makes me so feel emotional. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. Also, subscribe if you aren't already. And if you have any thoughts, uh, let me know in the comment section. And until the next time, peace.